Hi, all right, today we are going to be making our solution of Kool-Aid. It's gonna be our first concentration, which is, I'm forgetting what molar it is. Is it two molar? I think so. All right, so we're gonna be making our two molar concentration. We're gonna make 100 milliliters of two molar Kool-Aid. Now what is this? So this is our volumetric flask. All right, so there's, you notice that there's not a lot of markings, so it's not like a graduated cylinder, but we have just one marking, and this is the marking that's gonna indicate exactly 100 milliliters. And then it's got a round shape so that you can swirl and mix. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to weigh out the eight grams that I calculated of the Kool-Aid that I need. So I'm going to put on my balance. So I'm going to tear Maybe. <laughs> okay. And so now I'm gonna weigh out eight grams of Kool-Aid using my scoopula. Now what happens if you take too much? Can I put it back in the beaker? No, if you take too much, oh, like, like I did, so now I'm gonna to have to put that somewhere else. So I am just going to find a, All right, so I can't put that back in here because then it's gonna contaminate my whole supply of Kool-Aid. So I'm just gonna discard that extra 0.93. Right, and so maybe I'll switch to the finer end of my scoopula to get smaller amounts each time. Right, so I can try to get as precise as possible. So now that's 7.92. I haven't transferred this over to here. It's still on my scoopula. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, why does it keep fluctuating? Mm -hmm. Well, because remember, our balance is estimating that last digit, right? Significant figures. All right, and then we have some air current going around here too. So let's just put another little grain, couple another grain. It's close enough. Okay, there we go. Okay. So now I need to get this to dissolve in water. So I'm either gonna put the water in first or the Kool-Aid in first. So I want you to think about that for a second. Which would be better to put in first? I need to get this line up to here. I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna do the Kool-Aid first. You always start with the solid. In order to make transfer a little bit easier, I'm gonna use a funnel. Okay, so solute is in there. So now I'm just gonna add enough water down in the bulb, right, to start dissolving. I'm gonna keep my funnel in here because you can see there's a little bit of powder in there. I wanna make sure I get all of that in there because that's part of my, my calculation. So I'm just gonna add water in the bottom of the bulb, maybe about halfway, through, halfway full, not up to the line yet, right, because I wanna dissolve first. So you can see how it's not dissolved. I have some water and then I still have that solid down at the bottom. So now the shape of the volumetric flask allows very easily for swirling. So remember, sugar is not very soluble. It's not as soluble as salt because it's a covalent compound. So I'm gonna definitely need more water. You can see how it's cloudy and the particles are gonna settle to the bottom. So it's not fully yet dissolved. But I need to fill this now up to here with water. All right, so I'm going to use the squirt bottle because it allows me more control. And I'm going to add a little bit more water. I'm going to stop and swirl a bit before I get to, into the skinny neck of the volumetric flask. So thank you for being patient while I work on this here. All right, so I'm going to kind of just stop and swirl again, right, because I like to have the room at the bottom of the flask for swirling. Okay. All right, and so now I'm going to fill up to the line and I'm gonna get down close because I need to fill it to the meniscus. And then as I get into the neck, right, I gotta probably slow down my addition of the water because it fills up really fast. So you can probably see how a meniscus is already forming. And then I'm just gonna go drop-wise until I get up to my meniscus. Looks good. All right. So now next, I'm gonna take a rubber stopper.
and sometimes there's ground glass stoppers for this. And I'm going to invert. And so now this is the way you're going to stir, always keeping a finger on top of the stopper because if we turn it upside down, I wouldn't want the stopper to come out and then have a lab accident. Okay, and there we have our two molar solution of Kool-Aid. And it looks like when I dissolved, I have to add maybe just a little bit more water, right? Because I want to check my meniscus. Mm -hmm. Does it look like it? Oh no, actually, I think I'm good. Oh wait, no I'm not. Or am I good? Mrs. Mitiga, do you think I'm good? Let's get a zoom up there in the... Maybe a smidge. Because it just depends on which way I'm looking at it. Okay, that's good. Meniscus hit the bottom of the line. And now I'm gonna stopper that until I'm ready to use it. There you have it.